India South Korea relations have made rapid strides in recent years. With the convergence of India's Act East policy and South Korea's new Southern policy, NSP, there has been an acceleration of economic and strategic relations between the two countries. Bilateral ties, especially in the last decade, have grown robust and multi dimensional, encompassing a wide range of interests, including nuclear disarmament, maritime security, regional economic cooperation, counter terrorism, and energy cooperation. India's first Foreign Secretary K.P.S. Menon, served as chairman of the nine-member United Nations, UN Commission that was set up in 1947 to oversee elections in Korea. During the Korean War, 1952-53, the warring sides accepted a UN resolution sponsored by India calling for a ceasefire, one was declared on 27 July 1953. The relationship started only in 1962 that the two countries established consular relations. It was upgraded to ambassador level in 1973. Thus development caused a little impact on trade and commercial relations, let alone political and people-to-people -people ties. An important visit by the then Indian President APJ Abdul Kalam, at a critical juncture to Seoul in February 2006, opened the door for a more vibrant phase in India-South Korea relations. It resulted in the launching of a joint task force to conclude a bilateral comprehensive economic partnership agreement, which was operationalized on 1 January 2010. Also it led to the strategic partnership between the two countries, which was later upgraded to special strategic partnership in 2015. One of the most unexplored areas of cooperation to strengthen the relationship between India and South Korea is democracy. A fundamental shortcoming of democracy in Asia is the lack of government-to-government -government cooperation on promoting democratic values. Further in Asia, India and South Korea, as democracies, share common values and have been seen above convergent interests in the region. The region, which is already experiencing the evolution of a democratic bloc in the name of Indo-Pacific quadrilateral involving India, Japan, Australia, and the US, needs the support of other middle powers such as South Korea and Indonesia. Thus there is a need for serious thinking and deliberation among the various stakeholders representing South Korea and India. India and South Korea can cooperate on fighting global issues, challenges, climate change, freedom of navigation, internet governance, and outer space. Apart from it, the two countries can develop synergies on Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, trade agreements, and connectivity norms. Also there is a need for more openness between the think tanks, NGO, networks of scholars, activists of the two countries. Promoting institutions like the Indian Culture Center, ICC, will also be a step in the right direction. There is massive scope to expand ties between India and South Korea and make it a unique relationship in Asia. What is needed is political will and new imagination in diverse areas such as cultural relations, building on people-to-people -people contacts, harnessing democracy and liberal values, and cementing civilizational connections.